Yo, what is up guys? Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video and in today's video everyone we're going to be overviewing the Lisa's upcoming schedule calendar yet again and in today's video we're specifically going to be overviewing the upcoming Snow Eshu narrative dungeon as you can see it will be brought to the game on December 17th after the maintenance of course and as you can see we do have a new picture featuring the upcoming Snow Eshu, the light type unit. Now Snow Eshu is actually quite a bit away as you can see she is in far mid to late December and will be coming after the Kane Ragnar break. But before you know it she will be here so I did want to overview her unit of course in today's Destiny Child video. Now if you guys haven't seen yesterday's Destiny Child video, we did end up overviewing the Kane Ragnar Break units. So if you guys would like to go check out that video, I'll be sure to link it in the top right card of this video and of course in the description box below as well. Now without any further ado, let's head into the calendar here and as you can see we do have the Snow Eshu narrative dungeon towards the bottom here after the December 17th maintenance and as you can see Snow Eshu is actually a light type unit of course and this event will last up until December 31st and bring us into the new year. Now we of course do have the stamina party event as well which of course Destiny Child does send out stamina daily to us to help us complete the narrative dungeon grids and and missions. All right, everyone. So here we are with Snow Eshu's kit on the Rice Man Japan tier list. Now, if you guys would like to check out the tier list, I'll be sure to link it in the description box below. But as for Snow Eshu's tiers, we of course do have PVE here, a seven PVP, a tier eight Ragnar Break, a tier six and world boss a tier 7. Now of course this tier list is for the Japan server so I would expect her to be a little bit higher rated when she does roll around to the global side in mid-December. As for her attributes here we of course do have a light type supporter unit and she of course is a five star unit. As for her auto attack we do have 101 auto attack damage to the target. Her tap skill does have a 391 damage to the target and she also does have remove sleep debuff, remove and cannot receive any sleep debuffs for the duration for 5 seconds to 2 priority highest attack allies. And we also do have her slide skill as well of course in which she does deal 680 damage to target and has a minus 30% debuff duration for 16 seconds long to 2 priority any debuffed allies. She also does have a plus 40% skill charge speed for 16 seconds long to 2 priority any debuffed allies. Now overall her slide skill is pretty amazing as she does increase the skill charge speed by 40% and also does counter debuffs as she does have the minus 30% debuff duration on the slide skill. Now of course her tap skill is pretty unique as she does remove the sleep debuff from 2 priority highest attacker allies. As for her drive skill here, we do have 1830 damage to 3 random enemies and she also does remove the sleep debuff yet again on her drive skill for 20 seconds long to 3 priority debuffed sleep allies. As for her leader skill, we do have a minus 12% debuff duration to all light type allies. Now overall Snow Eshu's kit is pretty unique as she does have the plus 40% skill charge speed and minus 30% debuff duration on her slide skill and as for her tap and drive skill she does remove the sleep debuff for your allies. Now overall a pretty nice skill set for a 5 star supporter type unit that will actually be able to obtain for free from the narrative dungeon. Now of course the narrative dungeon does toss a copy to you for free so you guys can make sure to complete the event and you'll be able to receive one copy of Snow Eshu. Overall though I wouldn't say Snow Eshu is anything game breaking or too top of the meta but she does seem to be a pretty nice unit if you do need to counter certain debuffs. As you can see she does counter sleep debuff very well and she does of course have the basics of a supporter character in the plus 40% skill charge speed. As for Snow Eshu's drive skill everyone, let's take a look here and see what it does look like. Alright everyone, so there was Snow Eshu's drive skill. As for her live 2D costumes, we do have her here. As you can see her basic 
live 2D costume when you do summon her, I believe, as you can see on the screen right now. We also do have Snow Eshu's Awakened live 2D costume here. And we do have her Christmas costume here as well, as she of course is indeed coming around the Christmas season. Alright everyone, so that will do it for today's Destiny Child video and of course the rest of the Lisa's 2020 schedule calendar that we do currently have on the Destiny Child moot page. But anyways everyone, make sure to let me know in the comment section below what you do think of the upcoming snow issue as she'll be rolling around in mid to late December. As you had seen, she will be coming after the December 17th maintenance. So make sure to let me know if you are excited for her and her upcoming narrative dungeon. Also be sure to let me know what you do think of her skill set, live 2D costumes, etc. But before you go everyone, make sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy today's Destiny Child content. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already done so and are enjoying the Destiny Child videos and of course would like to see more of them. But with all of that being said, I'll see you all in tomorrow's Destiny Child video. Thank you all so much for watching.